I think this is one of the most exciting roles because now we got this boom. And this means you can eat as much as you can. <laughs> Good morning, we are here in Zagreb and today is a very exciting day because today we're going to make the food tour. This is what has been one of the most fun videos we're doing right now. For breakfast, <laughs> we got bureks. This is very traditional, and not just Croatia, but all of Balkans. They do bureks and they do different styles. If you're watching our videos already, you know we eat a lot of bureks. It's a very traditional pie they have in here and the traditional flavors are cheese or meat. And we're very excited about this place because they are running since 1967 and they run from, from just a family. It's a very tiny place and then doing generation from generation. And so it's very particular from here and it's very traditional. And we never had before is the sweet one, which is an apple inside. I know this doesn't look like a pie, it's because this place they cut it all and you eat like this. This is also new for us. A lot of layers and cheese. And it's different, deconstructed. Yeah. This is very, very, very good. Yeah. Very tasty. I love this layer. And just kind of crunchy, kind of salty. Very, very good. It looks a little oily and it smelled quite oily inside. So I'm wondering if that's a preconception I have. Very soft. It's not very flaky at all, but it is. Quite it's like thicker it. than than the Baruchs we've had before in uh, Albania, but yeah, thicker, but because you're eating it with a fork, it, it works. Mm. So that flavor was really good. Yeah. Try the yogurt now. Right. <laughs> Just so apparently we've got to try it with yogurt because that's what... No, 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 we drink the yogurt. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just tastes like sour cream yogurt, you know. Let's try the sweet one then. But this is good. Time for the apple one. Yeah. Sorry. Well, this is new for me. I never had the apple before, so I have no idea what to expect. Mmm. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Let me try one more piece to make sure. <laughs> very, very good. This is like a strudel, but... That's exactly Not what I thought. Really. When, you said you, when you said you didn't have an idea, I thought oh, it looks more like an apple strudel pie type. Yeah, a little bit more oiling, I would say. Yeah? Yeah, but very, very good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Funny how, like three, four months ago, we never even eaten a burrick. Now we're burrick experts. Yeah, that is the apple strudel, apple pie type glazy texture and flavor. That's really good. I could eat a lot of that. Uh, yeah. And wait. If it's better with the yogurt or not. Oh, that works. You yeah. sure you don't put the yogurt on the... Yeah. I, mean, I feel like you should do this. If I'm wrong, no, no, don't do it. If oh. I'm wrong, comment below. <laughs> All right, so that was a nice hearty breakfast. This burek place is actually located right in the market. There's like two levels of the market. What is it? The upper one you, you can eat at, and then the lower one you can buy stuff to take away. Um, so we're going to go explore there as part of the food tour, see if there's any little things that we can snack on. So as we walk up to the market, here it is. Loads of old locals are in that place eating, which is cool. Shows that always when you see locals, shows that you're going to the right place. about any market that we go to we have to come early or we're gonna be quite empty as now as early as better <laughs> just vegetables and the down area is all of fresh stuff like uh, uh, cheese, fishes and meat and also some bakery so it's very nice.
Yeah, this is a plant-based coffee shop, so we always like to support them. What I found was interesting is rather than uh, give you an upcharge, we pay extra everywhere we go if we want to have uh, plant-based milk instead of yeah. dairy. And here they actually upcharge if you wanted dairy, so I found that quite funny. Yeah, and this is very good, uh, latte. And now we're ready to get moving on because this isn't a coffee tour, this is a food tour. So we didn't have time to get anything big before lunch, so instead we settled on some chestnuts, roasted chestnuts from that fellow over there. Let's see what they're like. We're seeing them everywhere. I actually saw them on the floor, not these specific ones, but we saw chestnuts on the floor this morning. I thought, ah, oh, all right, we'll try some of them. You just crack it open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your normal soft, fresh, chestnutty texture. Kind of like a potato in a way. You know what I mean? Like a roast yeah. potato. For me, it just tastes like a nut with sweet potato together. Like you mix all together and cook it. <laughs> you said it tastes like that Brazilian thing. Oh yeah, for me it also tastes like pinhão. <laughs> put a picture. I put a picture of pinhão here. It's very similar. I think the same idea. It's, you can cook in the same kind of way. Just roasted tree nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Next stop is lunch, which is at Heritage which is a tapasy sandwichy type restaurant. Um, we've been recommended to go here, not just by Bee's planning, but also by the tour guide and our Airbnb host. So we know that we're in for a treat. They pride themselves on taking some level of traditional Croatian food. All of their food comes from Croatia. All of their ingredients come from, ideally, I think they said they, where they can, they try and source them from the villages surrounding Zagreb. So all to support, you know, Cro Croatian heritage, Croatian culture coming forward. Very excited. Oh. It's nice and warm. So we have a cheese and truffle sandwiches with the black black truffles from nearby. Oh. East term, I think. Ah, oh, smell it. Good. Yeah, the bread's really good. The cheese, oh yeah. Even the rocket is really good, like, what you Americans call it, arugula. Just the bread is delicious. <laughs> Told you the bread. The bread is very, very good. And the truffle is just like, makes everything so tasty. We approved. Ooh, time for desserts. So we got walnuts, cheese and fig jam. And then we've got hazelnut, cherry, I think, and cheese as well. I'm gonna go for the hazelnut. Oh, like a real strong nut butter flavor. Mm. Very good. Oh, I really like that. It's crunchy and creamy and very nice and light sweet because of the jam. Like the jam makes everything perfect. Oh, yeah. Really compliments, very good. And the bread is as well is quite crunchy. The nuts are crunchy. And then you get a little bit of the sweet. Um. <laughs> very, very good, enjoyed it. All right, so would you recommend here? I would 100% recommend, it was a very nice experience because you can get a little bit of everything yeah. and share. If you like this kind of food and if you like uh, this kind of style, the food, like uh, sandwiches and tapas. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like sandwiches? It's a very tiny restaurant, it's like four tables just. So if you want to come here, I like you have to book. It's just email them and they answer you very quick. And book it just to make sure we have a table or maybe just wait. No, that's it. Don't just book. Yeah, just book it. Don't be lazy. <laughs> book it and I'm not going to regret it. It's a very nice experience. Alright, so Zagreb has the highest amount of museums per person of any city. Well, at least that's what the tour guide told us. So we figured if we're doing a food tour in Zagreb, we should also visit... The Chocolate Museum. 
the History chocolate. of Chocolate set. Museum. Yeah. Apparently you get a little chocolate taster with each room that you go into and you go through uh, the whole history of chocolate. Let's go check it out. So you just need to follow the sign on the wall and they will tell you what to eat in each room. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, Thank everything you. is written on the wall in English inside so you can easily follow it. Perfect. In English, we'd call this cacao like raw cocoa bean. Oh, it's so bitter. <laughs> no, eat it and then figure out what it is. <clears throat> so it's made of 100% chocolate, no sweetener, no nothing added to it, and it is very bitter. But progressively better from that because that was just a nibs. This is now like an actual like cocoa paste. Room three. Let's see. After the first and the second chocolate, this is heaven. <laughs> <laughs> we basically have uh, melted chocolate to try and as much as we can when it got white, dark and milk. So let's try to see which is the best. Very good. Mm -hmm. mm, <laughs> Very good. Sweet. Much clearer look. Much lighter. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I love milk chocolate. The dark chocolate doesn't taste so good now. You can see how they've made this process. Oh, it's warm. Oh. Very good. That's really rich. Oops. This is all flexible. Oh, wow. Alright, now you can have as much as you want, but you've, you've abused this station now. I can stop. No, it's just too good to stop. Pink chocolate now. Oh, this is just proper milk chocolate. Yeah. Not the best one. The best one is probably the sweet dark chocolate, I think. Yeah. But this is soup chocolate. Tiny restaurants that just serve strictly, which is a very traditional uh, Croatian food. It's kind of like a pasta dough and cheese. And well, we we're gonna see it. <laughs> but for all we know, this is highly recommended to come and visit this place right here in Zagreb. Strukli, let's go. This isn't bad. No, I was very excited for this dish. <laughs> so finally, we're gonna find out how it tastes. This is the salted cheese. CJ got uh, peppers flavor, and this is uh, our uh, our dessert. Is the blueberry is a sweet one. To me, it looks like lasagna. Yeah, it looks like a lasagna. And I think it's like a pasta kind of dough. So it is like lasagna. Yeah. Oh yeah, they make them mm. fresh out of the oven. Mm. It's like a pasta. Worth the wait. You have to wait mm. 20 minutes for this. Very good. Mm. How it tastes. The sauce is more like cottage cheese than bechamel sauce. Yeah. And obviously there's no tomato in it. It's got like, because obviously it's from here. Maybe I'm biased or like that's skewed my thinking. But it's got a bit of budek to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it could be like Jeez. that wheat dough from before without egg. Yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong, B. But it seems like the dough is not as thick as lasagna dough. No. It's like yeah. thinner, more, yeah, more budek like more pancake kind of, but obviously with the wheat dough. 
the cheese and your cheese is really strong but it's still creamy cheese like really creamy and then you've got a little bit crisp where it's burnt on the top which is delicious and then i don't know it's, it's very easy to eat hey, right. time for dessert now we've got the blueberry one still the same cheese still the same dough but obviously it's made with a little bit of sugar now it looks piping hot looks very hot cheese like you can see where it's like curdled up this is gonna be good it's definitely strange though because the cheese isn't sweet but it, i mean yeah like a lasagna cheese like a lasagna blueberry cheesecake <laughs> that's funny this is very good it's very very good i would like it <laughs> what do you like about it i like the sweet but it's not it too sweet cream. no it's not too sweet but it's sweet and creamy yeah mm. but it's not too sweet at all actually no. it's just great <laughs> Yeah, I would not think about this dish as sweet, but this works. Yeah. It's crazy, but it works. What other sweet flavors did they have? The other flavors that they have is apple, honey, and sweet cheese. This is for those I remember. I would for desserts? Here. Yeah, from desserts. And then for savory ones? For savory, they just have so many, so I will list here. <laughs> <laughs> and in the description below, so go check it out. But the options are very good. Right, next stop on our food tour, we come to Cappuccino's, which is a place right in the heart of the downtown. The dish I wanted to try is a pasta with truffles, but it's just a, it's not normal pasta. It's a pasta they used to have all the time. It's very traditional. And the guy was telling me his grandmother used like cooks this pasta and used to do it all the time. So I'm very, very excited to see if it's actually good. But as you can see, the pasta is very different. Thicker and I don't know, just different shape. That looks more doughier in a way, mm -hmm. like it is. And you said there's no egg, right? For what I read, it's quite doughy. It's a little bit thicker than a normal pasta. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's actually very good. Yeah. Is it like more filling? More filling, definitely. That's why I think they used to do for the workers because it's actually very filling. <laughs> I think it's gonna be very full. Oh, nice. It's my special piece. Oh yeah. It's not too overwhelming with the truffles. It, like you say, it's thicker. Yeah, it's, it's very it's, filling. It tastes, but the texture is how it looks. It is thick. Yeah, I like that. It's I, nice, I right? That. Yeah, good job. DJ came for a traditional pizza. <laughs> you will see if it's good. This is not even the family size. It's just normal. That is very well stone baked. Mm. This is exactly how I like a pizza. The, the mushrooms are oh, sharp, yeah. but not overwhelming. Oh, oh my god, this is so good. Yeah, um, and, the, and the cheese is like really well baked and tasty, but again, not overwhelming. I'm very happy with my pizza, as you're happy with your pasta. We're very happy to come here. I, if you come to Zagreb, check out Cappuccino. We are working our way through this. You can see why this pasta is, or what's the name? Yeah, whatever this guy is, you can see why it's a worker's dish. It is very hearty. Yeah, it's very thick. filling. Like you'd go, <laughs> really you'd, filling, yeah. this would give you, you'd come home after a good day of work to eat this. Yeah, and you'd be ready for another day. Or if you took it to work with you, no, you'd have a, you'd have a, uh, yeah, a burak. Uh, you'd have a burak at work. Yeah, but definitely could have for dinner, just ready to sleep because yep. it's very filling. It's very really good. bakery they are open since 1977 and they're really really traditional if you ask any local here they will tell you to come in here and what we got here is we got the custard pie it is very traditional here is it something you have to try if you come to Zagreb I don't know yet if it's good or not I will tell you in a bit and this is the traditional uh, Vinsec pie it's like a cake and apparently it's very delicious and it's very traditional from this own bakery what I say apparently try it <laughs> Mm. It's just different. It's good, but it's a different flavor. I can't explain. It's just custard, very creamy, like moussey. Mm. And they have the nice layer here in the bottom, which is quite crunchy. It's very good. How do you eat this all in one bite? It's too full. 
I know. Just sort of fold it. Oh, it's like a filo pastry at the bottom. Ah, okay, yeah. It's very light. Very light, it's like a mousse, right? Very good, yeah. Oh yeah, that crust is really good. Yeah, I really, I really like that. It's all like subtle flavors, nothing overwhelming at all. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I think this is going to be the opposite. Yeah, I think it's going to be this full of flavor. This is going to be heavy. <laughs> we'll see. I want to get all. They have a like white well, sponge, some chocolate, nuts, cream. Oh, yeah, very good. Those dense. No, it's not dense at all. It's not heavy. No, it's not heavy at all. Oh. Mm. The oh. nuts are perfect. We got cake, we got cream, we got chocolate, nuts. Yeah, I prefer this one. Oh, so perfect. <laughs> I mean, this is still good. This is. This is definitely heavier and more in your face of the flavors. This one's subtle, but also delicious. Approved. So we're back to our Airbnb and we are going to finish the food tour here with just some samplings that we got from the bakery for breakfast. So we've got pancakes with nuts. Yeah. Uh, that's This is what we had yesterday. What's it called? The Strictly. But obviously served different. We've got another burrick, different style of burrick here. And then we've got some uh, little sandwich here. Oh, it's potato. Oh yeah, it's a potato burrito. Oh yeah, this is we never had before. No, it's like an English pasty. <laughs> really, because the pasties have potato. It's more crunchy because it's not a pie. Let's try this one here. It's the same one we had last night, but of course it's not oh, it's as fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> let's see if it's also good. It tastes very similar as the last, like uh, the the one we had last night, but it's more like a. Uh, strictly to go, <laughs> so it's a little bit more firm, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, very good. It's still doughy. Still very doughy. It's more doughy than last night, really. Like a pastry. Mm -hmm. We've got some pancakes here. I mean, this is like a crap, I guess, but they call pancake. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is nuts and sugar, I think. It's more like crap though than it is a pancake. Less spongy. Stretchy. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's less less spongy, but. It's... Would you recommend? Mm hmm that nut stuff is very good let's try the last one then i think this is uh this is gonna be my favorite because i love olive bread and i love cheese so <laughs> let's see the bread is very very good the cheese is just sensational it's like hard <laughs> cheese it's nice and simple bread but very very tasty it's like really worth it and i was seeing yesterday a lot of people eating this bread that's why <laughs> Oh, yeah? <laughs> this long bread, yeah, because I cut it at all, but it was very long. Yeah. So, yeah, very nice. Loved it. This is a very good impromptu sampler. Yeah, it's a nice breakfast. And the nice thing is as well, because we can find, like, they have so many bakeries around the town. And you can find those stuff everywhere. And also, it's very, very affordable. We paid, like, six euros for everything. <laughs> so, like, really worth it, really nice. Yeah, this is just a very nice way to start the day and finish our food tour. We try just to bring like traditional food and things that we're not gonna really find if you just come in as a tourist. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel because a lot of you watch it and enjoy our videos, but you're not subscribed. <laughs> also, if you get any of this stuff, or go to any of the places that we recommended, let us know in the comments below or let us know in the comments below what looked like the tastiest thing that we had today that's it thank you so much for watching if you enjoy again hit the like button subscribe for our channel that's it i see you in the next one <laughs>